Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be just a chill sit down video. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I've collected for baby number two. If you've never been to my channel, my name is Katherine and I have an 18 month old named Lincoln. I have a second little baby on the way coming in just a week or two. They could come at any time at this point. I'm full term. If you guys do want to follow along know when the baby's born and everything like that make sure that you subscribe and follow me on instagram i'm just sitting here drinking my red raspberry leaf tea preparing my body for labor and i'm excited to show you guys this stuff i have it all kind of laid out around me all of these things i either purchased or they were gifted from small shops i am not getting anything for sharing them in this video though. Just wanted to add that as a disclaimer. This is a good video for you if you're looking for some small shops to order from or if you just kind of want to see where I buy my baby clothes before this intro gets way too long. Let's just get into it. First thing I want to show you is this teether. This is from a company called Little Chew and they sent this over to me. I've been using it for Lincoln every once in a while, but he's pretty much got all of his teeth. So I'm definitely excited to have a cute teething ring for baby number two. The second thing I purchased myself, this is from an Etsy shop and I kind of bought it as decoration for the baby's room. Lincoln ended up obsessed with it. So he's been playing with this a ton. I do have it up on the shelf as decoration in the baby's room, but Lincoln loves to go around and pretend he's me taking pictures with the camera because we all know I take millions of pictures. We'll turn this little portion into an H&M haul. We're having an online sale, so I grabbed some things. I uh, honestly don't have a specific order that I'm showing you guys this stuff. It's just whatever I see next and pick up, but got these suspenders for the baby in size zero to one. And I don't typically buy things like this for newborns. I like to stock up on sleepers and onesies, easy things for diaper changes, but I had to get these suspenders. They are so sweet and I'm gonna be able to make a ton of different outfits with, you know, mixing and matching what you put underneath the suspenders and they're super soft. So I wouldn't order anything super uncomfortable, um, super dressy for a newborn, but these are super soft. So I figured why not? The next thing is this little two pack of pants. I'm obsessed with these. So one pair has little cars on them and then the other pair is just yellow. Both in newborn size, super soft, super excited about these. After I got these car pants, I couldn't resist when I saw this five pack of socks. Are these not the cutest little socks? And like I said, it's a five pack, so comes with a couple different ones. I won't show you all of them because that would take forever, but I'm excited for the baby to have some sweet little clothes. I wasn't planning on ordering them like anything because we have so many hand-me-downs from family members, hand-me-downs from Lincoln. I wasn't planning on buying much clothing, but I just couldn't pass up because of the sale. And then these are little dinosaur overalls. These are size two to four months. I'm excited for the baby to wear these too. These are just so sweet. Again, really soft. Else, oh, this is another thing that I ordered from H&M. They have a ton of cute Mickey stuff if you guys like Disney. So I got these little pants, little Mickey heads on them, and it matches with this Mickey tee. And it's gonna be perfect because we're actually going to stay at Disney for my birthday in April, and this is size two to four months. The baby will be about two months old, so I think it'll be perfect for that stay. And while we're on the topic of Disney items, how cute is this teeny tiny newborn onesie? We got a matching one for Lincoln. We got it at Epcot at their gift shop the last time we were there. It says, take me to the mouse, and I'm excited for Lincoln and little baby to match and their little Mickey onesies. The next thing was actually a Christmas gift for Lincoln but I'm planning on getting the little baby a matching one, so I just figured I'd show you guys. This is a Cuddle and Kind doll. I'm pretty sure this one's name is Wyatt the Fox, but he's like a little lumberjack, super cute. Cuddle and Kind is a really great company. I will link their website in the description below, and I'll try to link most of this stuff for you guys 
if you are interested. The next thing is a swaddle. This is from Solly Baby. And I'm pretty sure I already showed you guys this in my what's in my hospital bag video. If you haven't seen that, you should go watch it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna be bringing this to the hospital for the baby. This is also Solly Baby, but this is a wrap that they sent me. Look how sweet this pattern is. If you guys don't know about baby wearing, you gotta get on board. <laughs> baby wearing is the best and these wraps are amazing for newborns. I grabbed one more wrap. This was from my friend on Instagram. This is the camel color. And I can't wait to wear this baby. It's so helpful, especially if you're gonna have two babies so you can be hands-free. One more swaddle. This one is from a company called Dwell in Slumber. This was also a Christmas gift. Really stretchy swaddle. I think it'll be really good for the baby. Lincoln hated being swaddled. He always broke out of it somehow. So we didn't use swaddles very much, but this baby is gonna be born in January, February. I am excited to have some swaddles for the baby, even if it's just used as a blanket over them in the car seat. <laughs> if they hate being swaddled, that's fine. Next item I used as a gender reveal. It's just a sweet little newborn onesie from the Wild One Shop, and I got a Big Brother one for Lincoln, of course. It's really soft, it's good quality, and I'm excited to see them matching. I promised myself that I wasn't gonna be weird and have my kids match all the time, but I've already got a few items that match, so anyways. This bonnet was also in my hospital bag video. Pretty sure they're gonna be wearing it a lot, looking like a cute little elf with their pointy little bonnet. This is from a company called Quincy May, and I also grabbed this top knot hat for the baby from Quincy May. The next couple of items are bibs. These are pocket bibs from the company Gather, and I'm obsessed with these. They're just so easy to clean. The pocket catches food, clean them. You can either just rinse them off in the sink if it's like a really messy dinner, like spaghetti or something, just freaking hose it down and then it can just dry. But for easy things like snacks and whatever that doesn't really get super messy, you can just spray it with that Meyer spray is what I use and then just wipe it down with a paper towel. Super easy to clean, super easy to throw in your diaper bag and you don't have to add any more laundry. So again, not getting anything from sharing these. I just love them. The next thing I'm gonna show you is a little pair of wooden keys. I just think these are so cute. This is from a shop called The Belong Shop. They're just an amazing small shop that has a big heart for adoption. And if you guys wanna check them out, I will link them below. Next thing I'm gonna show you are just a couple of pacifiers. This is from the company Bibs. And I think, I think they're called Mushy Co now. Anyways, these are super cute neutral colors. I just grabbed Mocha and Vanilla, I think they're called. Lincoln never used pacifiers. He never really needed them because he was just such a happy baby. But I figured every baby is different, just like every pregnancy is different. And this baby might be more colicky or they might just gravitate to a pacifier. That's why I grabbed these. And you can actually just order these on Amazon. I think we're down to the last item. I just wanted to show you guys this Dock-a-Tot because Lincoln used it. I didn't actually buy this for the little baby. This was gifted to us when Lincoln was a few months old, but he slept in it every single night until we moved him to the crib and he loved it. It's like a portable bassinet. You can just bring it around the house, put it on the couch. The baby will just take a nap right there. It was just super helpful with Lincoln, so I wanted to share it with you guys. That's pretty much everything that I have collected for the baby. I'm so excited for them to be here in just a few weeks. If you guys do want to keep up with me and know when the baby's born, I might have already said this, but don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm definitely gonna be posting the birth announcement first is on Instagram rather than a video on YouTube. Can't wait to see the baby and all of this stuff. I'm getting so excited just getting towards those last couple weeks and just looking at all this stuff. I feel like I'm just like a nesting pregnant mom right now. I am going to go eat some lunch. I cut up a whole nother pineapple. I'm gonna try to get this baby out. I walked about eight miles around Disney yesterday. 
so I know that they're gonna come when they're ready, but I hope it's sooner rather than later. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.